In this video, we examine how to assist students resolve their conflicts. This is your presenter, Professor uh, Kibet. Assisting students in resolving their own conflicts is an essential skill for educators as it promotes independence, problem-solving abilities, and emotional intelligence. Remember that conflict resolution is a skill that improves with practice and guidance. Encourage a culture of respect, communication, and problem solving in your classroom, and it will help students develop valuable life skills for managing conflicts in the future. In the following section, I give some steps that you can follow to help students resolve their conflicts. This includes the following one, Create a safe and inclusive environment. Foster a classroom environment that encourages open communication, respect, and empathy among students. Ensure that students feel safe to express their feelings and concerns. Number two, teach conflict resolution skills. Dedicate time to explicitly teach conflict resolution skills, such as active listening, effective communication, empathy, and compromise. Use role-playing exercises and scenarios to demonstrate these skills. Point number three, encourage self-awareness. Help students become aware of their emotions and how they react in conflict situations. Teach them to identify their feelings and triggers. Point number four, Promote active listening. Teach students how to actively listen to one another without interrupting. This involves making eye contact, nodding, and paraphrasing what the other person is saying to ensure understanding. Point number five, identify the problem. Encourage students to articulate the specific issue causing the conflict. Help them break down conflict, uh, complex problems into smaller, manageable parts. Point number six, create solutions. Give students in brainstorming potential solutions to the problem. Emphasize the importance of creativity and open-mindedness during this stage. Point number seven, Evaluate solutions. Encourage students to assess each proposed solution, considering its feasibility, fairness, and potential consequences. Help them think through the pros and cons of each option. Point number eight, choose a solution. Have students collaboratively select a solution that both parties are comfortable with. Emphasize the importance of compromise and negotiations. Point number nine, implement the solution. Support students in putting their own chosen solution into action. Discuss any steps or actions that need to be taken. Point number 10, reflect and follow up. After the resolution, have students reflect on the process and its outcome. Ask them what they learned and how they might handle similar situations differently in the future. Point number 11, mediation where when necessary. If conflicts escalate, or if students are unable to resolve the issues on their own, consider mediating the discussion yourself or involving a trusted peer mediator. Point number 12. Model healthy conflict resolution. Be a role model for conflict resolution by demonstrating these skills in your interaction with students and colleagues. Show them how to remain calm, 
respectful and empathic during disagreements. And finally, provide ongoing support. Continue to support students in developing their conflict resolution skills over time. Offer guidance as needed, but gradually empower them to handle conflicts independently. That actually marks the end of my presentation where we've taken time and we have actually discussed how to assist students resolve their own conflicts. This will help teachers in their classroom management. Thank you.